today I am going to be making another Lego movie and actually I am the host of the Heart Lake City Bing competition. As you can see, I am in front of the bakers. Today we will be seeing who can make the better cake for me. I am also the judge, which is very exciting. So after I'm talking a lot, I get cake. Woohoo! Free cake. I don't even have to pay for it, and that's the best part. Let's meet our contestants. We will start in the yellow corner, Stephanie. Right now, I am with Stephanie. Stephanie, tell me about yourself. When did you start baking? Um, hi, my name is Stephanie Lopez, and I started baking when I was eight years old. I started helping my mom out in the kitchen when I was five, and when I was eight, I found out that that was my love for baking. Um, and now I'm 16, so that's eight years of baking. Um, I'm very proud um, of myself. My mom inspired me to bake because she was always in the kitchen doing something. She always had flour on her sleeves, of her long sleeves and her hoodies. So, yeah. Um... My mom's the one who inspired me. My dad also inspired me with barbecue, but I'm not that like good of a baker when it comes to barbecue. I'm more of like a cake person, which I mean like that's perfect for me because I'm gonna be making cake in this competition. Great, Stephanie. Okay, now let's go meet in the pink middle our next contestant, Andre. Right now I am in the middle with Andre. Andre, tell me about yourself. Hi, my name's Andre, um, and you can call me Andre if you want. Andre or Andre, I don't care. Um, anyway, so I started baking when I was six, I think, and now I'm 17. So, um, that was a very long time of me baking, but I loved it. Baking for 11 years has been like a dream come true for me. I dream being a chef when I grow up. Um, my dad inspired me. He was always in the kitchen baking. And right now he is um, a famous chef. Um, he makes a lot of money off of it. My mom um, actually entered this baking competition when she was little. Um, so yeah, cooking has been like a family tradition. Um, my grandma cooked, my great grandpa cooked, my great 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 grandma cooked. Um, everybody in my family has become a chef at one point. So I'm hoping to make them proud and pass on their tradition by being a chef after this competition. So yeah, I'm an Andrei and that's my story of baking. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Great Andre. I love that history. So historical. Now we're going to move on to the only boy in the competition, David Mikes. Right now, I'm on the side with David. David, tell me your history behind cooking and about yourself. Hi, I'm David Mikes, and I started cooking when I was eight, and now I'm 15, only seven years, but that's a lot for me. Um... My mom is actually a baker. My dad's a cook. He doesn't really like barbecue. My mom doesn't either, but I love barbecue. I'm still learning from an from a cookbook. And yeah. David, where do you come from? I come from Australia. And the one thing that I am learning how to still do is Put out fires. I can tell there's a fire behind you. There is on my oven. Oh, can we be done with the enemies so I can go um, get the fire extinguisher and put it out? Gladly. Alright, guys, now we're gonna go meet our judges. Let's go. Okay, guys, now I'm with our judges, John and Emma. Emma, tell me how you became a judge. Hi, I'm Emma, and I am 10 years old, and I became a judge because Eliza came to my house when I when I posted my um when I posted my audition for how good of a judge I could be. 
because she told us to post auditions when I was watching a cooking show that she hosts. So I decided to do an audition and she liked it. So now I am a judge. That is true. Okay, John, tell me your tell me your history of how you became a judge. Hi, John. I'm 22 years old. I'm actually David's dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Um, and he invited me because he was going to be there. Then he slept with you. He said it was fine, so that's how I became my dad. Wow, father and son. Did not know that, and I did not see that one coming. Okay, now me and the judges are going to go around and ask the bakers what kind of cake they would like to make. They would tell us, and we would tell them the cakes, and then we would ask one of them to change their ideas if one of them is the same as the others, because they could be copying. Okay, now we're gonna go ask all the bakers. Yeah, so you wanna do that cake? Oh, I like that idea. All right, so you wanna do that? I, I, yeah, I, or so you wanna do that? I want to make strawberry chocolate. I want to make my special cookie chocolate. I want to make my strawberry chocolate. And Jay wants to make her special cookie chocolate. David wants to make his strawberry chocolate. Yeah, same with Stephanie. She wants to make her strawberry chocolate. But I already told them it needs to be cake. Why would you say that it needs to still be cake? Because we have a cake wheel, that's for other competitions when we do make cake. They're just teenagers. The cake is for the adult competitions that happen. First of all, that's not what happens, but I don't think that they should just make whatever they want. Yeah, I think I should just let the chocolate slide. I mean, like, as long... Alright, this is a negotiation that I'm willing to do if it means having chocolate. They have to make their own batter. They can't just take chocolate and add stuff to it. They have to make the chocolate themselves and do everything. They can't go out and get the chocolate. That's unacceptable because then it would just be clean because they wouldn't actually be making chocolate. I like that negotiation. Yeah, let's do it. Team chocolate on three. One, two, three. Team Chocolate! Team Chocolate! Team Chocolate! Okay, bakers! All your options were acceptable, but there is one catch. You need to make your own chocolate batter and your own chocolate. You can write what you want in it and add your things in it. Now, we will not be revealing the chocolates that people are making so people don't cheat. You can use other people's materials. Say, Andre, you need to use Stephanie's blender to make the chocolate batter. You can use it, but there's a maximum of only three minutes or five. Three or five minutes with it. Stephanie, if you need to use Andre's bowl, you would get three minutes with it. And David, if you had to use any of the ingredients that these bakers have, then you get then you get that for seven minutes because putting the ingredients together has measuring 10 or seven minutes if you borrow the ingredients. All right, bakers, you may begin. Okay, guys, so I might be in trouble here because I actually don't know how to make strawberry chocolate. I've said it's special though because I just wanted to seem like I could actually make chocolate because all these other bakers can so i might be in big trouble so i'm just gonna do the best thing possible and just copy what andre is doing nobody will know if when they do a taste test i'm gonna add like strawberry bit and they won't know the difference so i'm just gonna copy what andre is doing so let me see what she's doing right now okay so i gotta be quiet it looks like she's asking David for a whisk. Okay, I'll ask her for the whisk when she's for the whisk when she's done. Thanks, David. You're welcome. Oh dang it! Uh, it looks like she's using um 
that chocolate powder. I don't have it. Oh, but you can ask for the ingredients. Hmm, first let me see what she's doing. Alright, she just finished pouring it in. Okay, so it looks like Andre is just whisking it now. Um, okay, and I'm gonna ask her if I can borrow the batter. Oh, I have to mail. Um, 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 um. Oh, I'll just ask her for the ingredients to use. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, Ann. Hey, Andre. Hey, Stephanie. What do you need? Do you need some of my ingredients? Yes, you've read my mind. Can I have all the ingredients that you use to make um, your chocolate batter? I just need to put strawberries in it, then it'll be done. Um, yeah, sure. I'll get you it right away. Yay, thanks. Okay, so Andre got me all of the ingredients I needed, and I got the whisk from David. Now I'm just going to put it all together and whisk it. Okay, so I finally whisked this together. It actually took longer than I expected it to. Oh no, two people are already done. I really got to start adding my strawberries. Alright, so I got my strawberries, and um, I'm just going to mush it with my hands. I don't care anymore. And then I'm going to freeze it and then mold it. Because both because uh, my competitors are already done. So I'm just going to freeze this and then mold it and then I'll be done. Be good. Okay, so I just finished my strawberry chocolate. I'm very proud of myself. Looks very delicious and appetizing and very good. Um, so I know mine will taste like hers with strawberries in it. So I don't really have the difference. Truth is, I don't love to bake. I only know how to do it, so I've actually only been making for <laughs> two years, so um, I don't know. I yeah, might be in trouble sick. with this, but they're not really going to tell because I have strawberries on it, so yeah, um, I just hope it's not going to like affect the taste or anything, so yeah. All right, contestants! Oh, here's the judges. Time is up, and you have made your chocolates for us to try. Right now, we will be coming over to your guys' tables and be tasting that chocolate. Then we will meet back here and report whose chocolate is better. Whoever wins gets a trophy in $10,000. Okay, we're coming over to your tables right now. Mm, impressive stuff in there. Thanks. Mm. Ooh, that is so good. Wow, I am only a kid, and I feel like this is the best chocolate I've ever tasted in my life. Mm. 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 So good. Thank you. Mm. Wow, Andrea, that is really good. Thank you. Um, I'm very proud of it. Wow, Andre, I haven't talked to you yet, and this is such good chocolate. Mm. You are a very, very good baker. I understand why you want to be a chef and why your family is a chef in the first place. Mm. So good. Oh my, um, I just can't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Very impressive, Andre. When I talked to you, I didn't know your chocolate was going to be this good. Oh my god, thank you! You're welcome. Compliments are my specialty. I can tell. Wow, David. This is such good chocolate. Mm. I didn't know you were that good of a baker. I thought you were just a grill guy. Mm. Oh, thank you. That's such a good chocolate. You're welcome. Hope you like, Dad. I will, son. Mm. Oh my god, so that is so good. I love the cherry tang. David, very impressive. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I just expect a bit more cherry. Mm. So good. Thank you. 
There is something weird about Stephanie and Anthony's chocolate. Yes, they taste exactly the same. Wait a minute. I think I know what's going on. Andre said she was going to be doing cookie dough chocolate. Stephanie said she was doing strawberry. Stephanie had cookie dough chunks inside of her chocolate. When Andre had just cookie dough, Stephanie had chocolate and strawberry cookie crunches. Stephanie copied Andre. That's against the rules, right? Yes, it totally is. Copying is not allowed in the Heart Lake City baking competition. Yes, that is so true. We have to disqualify Stephanie. We can't do that. Her, her chocolate was still really good. We just have to put her in third place. Yeah, Andre definitely won that one. I mean, like, my son didn't add, um, like, a lot of cherries. Yeah, he didn't really add that much. And he said he was doing cherry, but it was still really good. So I think he deserves a second, Andre first, and Stephanie's third place. Exactly what I was thinking. Me too. Let's go announce the winners. All right, contestants, we have made our decision. The winner of the Heart Lake City Baking Competition is... Andre, congratulations. Woo! Go, Andre! Yo, go, Andre. Good job, Andre. Oh, my God, thank you so much. Oh, my God, thank you guys so much. $10,000 and a trophy. What can I ever do to repay you? Just be yourself and keep cooking in the kitchen. And be the best possible person and never give up hope. And also enjoy biking. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you liked my chocolate. Well, can you blame me? Cookie dough and chocolate. It's like one of my favorite, two of my favorite things mushed together in the world. That's not fair. What, Stephanie? What's wrong? Like you don't know, Andre. You are what's wrong. I should have won that trophy. I should have won that $10,000. I should have won first place. I don't even like to bake. I do it for the money. And you don't understand that money is everything. Winning is not everything. Money. Is. So why don't you just let me win a golden trophy and that $10,000, Andre. Stephanie, is this what it's all about? You should be grateful that you came in any place. I would even be happy to be in third. So then why not be three places? But I am really happy to be in first place, Stephanie. Why? Why did you cheat? Yeah. I cheated so I could win the money. <sighs> wow, Stephanie. You just confessed that you cheated with a judge behind your back. Yes, I Away from my apology. It's fine. We'll get her. You deserve that, Andre. Stephanie, come back and apologize. Oh, fine. Oh. I'm really sorry, Andre. I just got so caught up in wanting to win. I just really like money. I really love money. And I really like to win. And I really love to win. It's fine, Stephanie. I'm just glad you came to your senses. Is that apology really true? Because it seemed like you didn't want to apologize. That apology was true. Promise me one thing. You won't take out you won't take it out out on other bakers when you don't win. And they win? I promise. Anything else? Yes. Keep doing the best you. Okay, I promise, AJ. Mm. Am I back? Enjoyed my Lego film. 
um, I'm very proud of it, and I hope you guys like it. And if you have any ideas on how I got there, write them down. Or do anything to think, because I have no idea. I didn't have that little set either. Anyways, bye guys. Mwah.